marks one day to the rescheduled general election and the Independent National Electric Commission says sensitive materials have been deployed and logistics put in place. Well, the commission says 72.7 million Nigerians have collected their PVCs and will vote tomorrow. But how prepared is INEC this time? Joining us live right now is Achike Chude from Abuja. Thank you for joining us, Achike. Now, you're in Abuja. What have yeah, you observed? You. How prepared is INEC at this time? Do you believe that they will meet up to uh, their promises? Well, uh, you know, Abuja seems to be the center of uh, the storm, at least in terms of uh, the location of, uh, the, of, of the INEC. And so a lot of activities are going on around there here. A lot of uh, the foreign observers are, are, are here, and then a lot of uh, the civil society organizations, situation room, and the rest. So there is, uh, you know, there is uh, this uh, feeling of, uh, of serious expectation. Uh, we all know that uh, the INEC chairman has said that uh, nothing is going to uh, prevent this election is, uh, I mean, from holding except uh, perhaps uh, an act of God. But actually, okay, we have uh, had so that. Clearly, the, we have yes. had that from the INEC chairman several times before it was postponed last yeah. week. Do you, uh, are you confident yeah. that this time around, from what you have seen, the elections will hold tomorrow? Oh, it, it is going to hold. Definitely, it's going to hold. Um, uh, I think they have been working from the very moment that uh, that election was postponed. They were under very intense uh, pressure. And so it is clearly in their interest, in terms of their reputation and their image for this election to hold. And uh, there have been uh, some of the logistic issues, actually, that they had talked about that weighed against uh, holding that particular election uh, have, are being done away with. Uh, the, of course, we have seen visuals. Uh, you know, in the media about uh, the movement of uh, all of these uh, materials to various parts of uh, the country. And uh, in some cases, they are talking about 100% uh, completion in terms of uh, uh, logistics. All right. And so That's okay. I am very, very hopeful. A lot of Nigerians are. As hopeful as you are, the credibility of this election has been brought uh, under some level of scrutiny because uh, some, there's been uh, some persons caught with PVCs and even specimen of uh, the ballot uh, papers. Are you worried about this? Of course, I think it is natural uh, to be worried about, about that. I mean, we have waited so long and we want to have an election that is seamless. Uh, you know, an election that is cred credible, free, fair, transparent, and accountable. Uh, that is why we have invested so much energy and time. So, yes, I agree that uh, all of these uh, pockets of uh, dissonance, you know, Malthusians will definitely worry anybody. But we want to hope that uh, substantially uh, the, all of these Malthusians is not, uh, substanti are not substantial enough to impugn the integrity of, uh, the, ele of the electoral process, of the election itself. All right. Um Achike Chude, thank you for your time on TVC Breakfast.